So Stepanek, Alex Panelek and uh, Corey McEwen are missing. And uh, the Milton Keynes Thunder come to us. Relatively short bench too in a game that uh, sees us make the approaches towards the end of the season. Relatively few games left. I think it's three home games left for the Phantoms. Two on two. White down low. And uh, I have to say to you that the last time the Thunder played here in Peterborough, Alex White had a good game. It's in the net. We've had 38 seconds of the game. A shot on goal. It's redirected on the doorstep. And within the first minute, let's see that again. So it's 61. Ross Bowers fires it in. And it's turned in by the man on the doorstep. I'm just trying to see who that is. I think it might be Rubes. Yeah, it was 96. Phantom side of the uh, nonsense at Bracknell. Cross ice pass like that from Billing Susters. Oh, that is a lovely tic tac toe goal. Let's see that again. Susters to Billing. Billing on the doorstep, pretty much from the same place that Lebla uh, sorry, Roop scored for uh, Milton Keynes. So we get an equalising goal for the Phantoms. 2.32 and uh, Ryan was stood in, came in for Ma who got pulled and, uh, and, and Bainbridge did well good play there, chance oh and that was uh, a nice play there and Boyer wins well that bounces off Bainbridge and now there's a chance for Pollard has he got the speed to go shoots low Good stretch pass to Will Weldon. Weldon shoots <coughs> into the plexiglass. And that's come out of the zone. Phantoms need to come out. Turned over in the neutral zone. Rio Grinnell Park. Shoots. Saved. Oh, that's a good save. And then the follow-up from number 14, Barnes Garner. Glenn Billing takes the blue line, drops it for Weldon. Weldon's hit the ironwork! Oh, just about to celebrate with number 29. And, uh, well, couldn't have been much closer. For once, the Phantoms get a steal a march. They've turned it over. Rube shoots and scores a sure-handed goal. The Phantoms hit the ironwork at one end. The puck's turned over in the phantom zone. And number 96, Rubes, makes no mistake. Phantom's very much being kept to the outside. They need the guile, they need the... There's no shot there. Oh! Well, the phantom... Phantoms have the level up, two goals each, it's come off uh, 61, that's um, uh, Ross Bowers, the goal will be Susters. Power play goal, Phantoms 2, Milton Keynes 2. And round the boards to James Ferrara. James Ferrara into the centre. Little touch there from Escott. That was nice. Glenn Billing stutters. Feeds the captain. And uh, Scott Robson down below the red line. Oh, Glenn Billing with the use of the body. How about that? Oh, Susters with a shot in the slot. Chance. Oh, on the doorstep. Susters. Uh, oohs and ahs from the Phantoms fans. Susters goes inside, takes his man away. Chance, good shot on target from uh, James Ferrara. No offside. James Ferrara needs to get a shot off. He's not going to. Do you know what? We've got, I daren't use the phrase, bonus hockey. <laughs> Phantoms have lost possession. No, they've got possession. James Ferrara. 
misses. First shot in overtime to the Phantoms. And Boyer goes to goal. Rubes tries to go around his man. Uh, Robbie Ferraras. Well, <laughs> two on one. Phantoms with a chance. No goal. Uh, chance for the winner. There's a penalty called against the Phantoms. Not a clear goal scoring opportunity. And with 1.51 remaining, Milton Keynes on the power play. 10 seconds, shot saved by Bainbrook. Big cheers in the rink. We're going to get a penalty shoot out here in Peterborough. A penalty shooter, Rubes. Swings left, is central. Save, Bainbra. Susters. Right, Lord out, an awful long way, narrows the angle. Susters wait, wait, wait. And it's wide, no goal. Bowers coming at it with uh, pace, nearly loses control. Ross Bowers shoots and scores. Phantoms need a goal. Billing goes right. Lord A out a long way. Saved. Milton Keynes win the game. Congratulations to the Thunder. They win the penalty shootout. Lord A takes it.